In the first two minutes, a shady looking transaction was made in the middle of the night. Someone tried taking pictures from a distance but was immediately caught, hit with a car, and the SD card to her camera was destroyed, erasing all evidence. So is this going to be an action adventure type thing? Maybe a James Bond kind of story? Of course not! It's going to be a harem slash romance with a bunch of attractive girls. Now we're talking! Yuki Ojima is part of the food club, a happy place where slackers stuff their faces with sweets, but there is someone running for student council president who would disband clubs that provide nothing for the school. To counteract this, Yuki decides to run for student council himself to keep his lazy club funded and active. Is it an awful lot of work just to be lazy? Yes. Yuki finds other reasons to run for student council president and faces a number of challenges such as fundraising and motivating his lazy friends. This is actually the second time I watched this, the first time being a few years ago, but in that time I found I only remembered a few of its many characters. Chisato, the childhood friend, Morishita, a quiet girl who expresses cat-like behavioral patterns, and Hazuki, the teacher who simply wants to drink her weight in beer and harbors a crush on her student. I'm kinda surprised at myself for forgetting about the gay guy who also has a crush on him, though much more open than the girls. But out of all of them, I would have liked for Hazuki to end up with Yuki. Not because I think they're a good match, but because I like a good scandal, and Morishita's obviously mine already. The complex politics of the school is enough to keep one invested on top of the fairly appealing cast. To see the candidates compete, you might as well be watching a country's election process. It gets so involved, Yuki actually gets kidnapped at one point, and now that I actually come back to this series with a sharpened critic's eye, I see some boo-boos, all of which have Yuki's face painted on them. Hazuki actually confessed her love at one point, and he said he would consider her feelings, and this was never addressed again. Also, I've seen some massive blockhead protagonists, but if a girl decides she is going to join you in the cliché hot springs bath scene and there isn't crap you can do about it, it would eventually occur to you that she has a crush on you. Yuki is an idiot. I'm not sure when it occurred to him eventually that she has a crush on him. And in the final episode, his friends are arguing, and I swear he spent that time staring off into space. Didn't even look like he was trying to understand what was happening. So it's not the best romance by any stretch of the imagination, but as a drama and a part-time comedy, I remembered it after a few years, and that sums up my feelings on the matter. I may even give the corresponding visual novel game a try, which brings me to something I've been meaning to bring up. I've been thinking about telling the tale of an individual root in a dating sim through use of my usual skits. If you think that would be a nice change from the usual anime reviews, please let me know in the comments below.